Okay, and welcome back. What we have here is a new type of blade from John Cavley. The Cavley blades that he was making before are these ones right here. These are the ones that I was uh, bush hogging with. And they are what they are. But these are the new blades that he is calling a finishing blade but they still have a bit of a toughness to them. When I unpackaged them, I was surprised to see that they have these little teeth on there still. But, if you look at them compared to the old ones, the teeth don't come down as far. they will be only about half as far. John would know more specifically what he did here. But, let me show you the differences between the two. So what we have here is the really long tooth on the bush hogging blades and the shorter tooth on the finishing blades. I don't think they're at an angle. But now we have this little notch here. Whereas over here we don't have one. And also the cutting surface uh, which you can't see on this side because they are oh yeah, there was there's one right there Cutting surface on these is only about six inches Whereas the cutting surface on these is gosh a solid ten inches and uh, yep They are sharpened on opposite sides if you um, notice that sharpened on the bottom on one half and on the top on the other and he has done that on the new blades as well sharpened on the bottom and sharpened on the top so the actual cutting surface is maybe four inches shorter and we've got this notch and the wing is shorter if you look at that that wing is about three inches and this wing is maybe two and a half so we've definitely got some differences here and I am going to put these on and run them in a regular yard to test them out and then of course we'll since they're gonna have still have some tall grass capability we'll test them in the tall grass as well so what we have is a set here a brand new set for the cheetah I'll be putting those on in a second, but we have this other set. Notice just a little bit smaller, but exactly the same. And those are for the Great Dane. And so we're going to be testing both these mowers and both these blades out uh, today. And uh, it should be neat to see the difference there because we've got a tapered deck on the cheetah with the baffle in the front which really helps with getting the tall stuff but Great Dane has a straight deck no baffle the old style where I believe these blades with these teeth hanging down will come in really handy so the new blades are called the finisha blade and the old blades he was he was saying he wanted to call them the beast blades and so we've got the Beast and the Finisha, two different models now. I'm going to go put them on and we'll go test them out and see what they do. Okay, so there they are. We are ready to cut. I've actually uh, already cut a little bit with them just to make sure because it seems like I'm going to be cutting this St. Augustine and it seems like as you mow along with those teeth sticking down that it might make a kind of a spirograph pattern, but it's not doing that. So <laughs> I just had to test that real quick and see if that's going to do it before I take it into the yard. And what I'm going to be doing here is picking up where I left off yesterday because we got chased away by the rain. This is really thick St. Augustine. And definitely finished mower type subject. So we're going to give it a finished mower test. See what happens.
that's not so bad. They're, you know, they're behaving like uh, mulching blades. A little bit more resistance than normal because of the teeth. Because normally like a gator blade has the teeth on the top and you feel a little more resistance. But there's also very few clippings as you probably saw. So it's, it's like mulching them up. They're like mulching blades. Anyway, pretty good uh, result. Okay, so now we'll do the thick grass test. We've got this field here. There's no shortage of these things. This is like normal height over here. And we've got, I mean, this is thick. And it did recently rain, so this is all wet. You can see where somebody drove through there with a car, somehow. Anyway, it's about a foot and a half tall and ridiculously thick. So we'll see what these do. I know the beast blades would go through this with no problem. But we'll see what these finishing blades do with their smaller teeth. Let's give it a go. Well, that's pretty impressive. And you can see, there's even been, some people have been, uh, you may have heard it all, people have been uh, dumping, like, uh, palm fronds in here. And that's what I was hitting. So, it doesn't seem to bunch up at the chute, so I think what I'm going to try now is just the big test. Can I just go right down the middle of this? Let's try that.
You sure can. I'll just go walk that path. I didn't go all the way through because I didn't realize there's a ditch on the other side. It started going down, 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 and I think it's full of water. But considering that these are supposedly finishing blades, this isn't too bad at all. Now, regular blades wouldn't do this. Regular is stock standard. Uh, gators would probably do it. And when he said he was sending me finishing blades, I wouldn't have guessed that this would happen. But super, super thick stuff. Let me show you at the end here how thick the stuff was that it was going through. Just regular pace, regular resistance. Look at that. And this is a ditch. Chances are I go in there, I can't get out. So, if you want to leave a long, mysterious pathway in the middle of a field, you can do that. Anyway, moving on, we gotta go get the Great Dane. Okay, we got the Great Dane out here now, and we are about to do the thick St. Augustine test. Um, now these blades, I was talking to John, it's really more for a kind of a shorter grass, like a mulching blade, he says, the lower the better. Now, I cut this at four and a half inches, so this is kind of maybe not what it's designed for, but if it works, it works, so we're going to test it. Um, I've been mowing with it, it's been doing pretty good, this will be the thickest one yet. And a real good challenge, because of the way I mow this one, you'll see. Uh, for the mulching application. Anyway, while I got the chance, I'm going to show you the way I got it set up. Let me get down under here. As per the spacers. So hopefully we can see. So there are three spacers on the shaft. And I have it up one. So there's two spacers above, one spacer below. And my idea there is to keep the tooth at least barely above the bottom of the rim. You can see there. So that if I happen to be crossing over onto a sidewalk or something, and I forget that I'm running these type of blades, there's a chance that maybe I won't um, have that impact. But And, you know, I don't know if that defeats, defeats the purpose, but I think that uh, this will be okay. I think it's still going to do what it's supposed to do. So let's try it out.
let's go take a look. I must say, there's like no resistance. It's like the blades aren't on. And I usually do this one with the cheetah. And by the time I get all that, you saw the way I was doing it, kind of uh, uh, overlapping like a spirograph. And usually by the time I get over to this side of the yard, I've got a lot of grass lying around. But I don't this time, or didn't. It's uh, mulching up really, really good as you go. I think that has to do a lot with not only the teeth sticking down, but the fact that the um, blades are sharpened on the top and the bottom, so it's cutting it, you know, a quarter inch high and low as the, um, the blades of grass come out. And uh, that's mulching. But yeah, it's really, really wet right now too, so don't blame the blades for that. I'm mowing right after a lot of rain last night. So anyway, so that was the St. Augustine test. I have to say it passed quite well. Here's the only little piece I got sticking up. Almost, you really gotta look for the little clumps. Otherwise, there's nothing left. It's like you bagged it. Anyway, let's go find some bahia and some other types and go mow some more. Okay, so what we got here in this yard is kind of the perfect test, test bed for this because what we have is all these seed pods sticking up here and this is exactly the problem oftentimes, especially with these narrower decks that don't have the baffles in the front. So I'll show you exactly what happens and why Cavley made his blades the way he did. Right there you can see, so they're so tall is that when the mower is moving along, it pushes the seed stalk over. You see it there? And pushes it over, it rides under the blade, and then when the mower passes, it pops right back up again. That is, unless your blade has a tooth sticking down to get it. See right there is where it would have gotten it. And so that is how they work. And that's how it's going to work on this, so let's play.
Okay, so yeah, just like I thought, it, it pretty much, you saw it yourself, uh, got it on the first pass. Now I made a whole bunch of passes just because there was so much grass and I wanted it to lie down nice. And, um, but it pretty much had it the first uh, pass, it was getting all the seed whips. Um, I did mow, of course, you guys are going to be wondering, I mowed the whole thing. And uh, I'll be posting that as a separate video, but for information's sake on this video, I just show in this section here. But yeah, I mean, it's mowed, and that's a stump. So what else can we, I guess we got to find a real challenge for it, so I'll look around. Okay, so this will be the final test. This is the area where I was mowing with the cheetah with the uh, beast blades that he originally released. If you uh, remember that video, I was going through some crazy stuff and you see here it, it grew back. Now, no, I'm not, look at this, there's a gate in there. Remember when I had cleared all the way to the gate, but I will not be mowing that stuff. These. These are meant to be finished blades, and if you wanted to go into some thick stuff, it would do it. I am not taking that chance today. But I am going to go through this thick stuff a little bit closer to the road. I can see somebody over here has been mowing. And I'll just try to kind of even it out on the other side of this drive. And so I will judge how how far into the thick stuff I want to go. See how it's going. So, let's do that. So John, I mean, John, they're performing pretty much the same as the Beast Blades from what I'm gathering. I guess I will go into a little bit thicker over here. Wow. I'm going to get a shot from behind to show uh, what it's leaving.
Okay, so there is no question. They do what they say they do. And for me, I'm really not noticing a difference in performance in the thick stuff between these finishing blades and the beast bush hogging blades. As you can see, I mean, this is not the type of mower to do this, and it easily did it. I would be comfortable mowing in that uh, on a big project with this mower. So, again, I gave it an A plus, and thanks for watching.